In an important development, the Kerala High Court today stated the Sessions Court order granting anticipatory bail to writer and social activist Sivik Chandran in a sexual harassment case while hearing a plea moved by the state government challenging the bail order. In a controversial ruling that caused widespread outrage, Sessions Court Judge S. Krishna Kumar had held that the offence under Section 354A of the Indian Penal Code that criminalises outraging of a woman's modesty would prima facie not be attracted if the complainant was wearing a sexually provocative dress. Chandran, who had furnished photographs of the complainant from her social media handles, along with his bail application, was granted anticipatory bail by the Sessions Court on August 12th. Earlier on August 2nd, he had also obtained anticipatory bail in another sexual harassment case filed against him. Justice Kosar Edapagat of the Kerala High Court today remarked that the observation of the lower court that the offence under Section 354A of the Indian Penal Code is not prima facie attracted if the woman was wearing a sexually provocative dress cannot be justified. The High Court further observed that it appears that there is an improper exercise of jurisdiction by the Sessions Court and that irrelevant materials had been relied upon by the Sessions Court while granting anticipatory bail to Chandran. While staying the impugned order of the Sessions Court, the High Court however ordered that Chandran cannot be arrested until the disposal of the criminal case by the High Court after taking into account the age of the accused. The High Court has also called for the records of the case from the Sessions Court. The matter shall now be taken up by the High Court after vacation. In the appeal filed by the state government under sections 482 read with section 439 subsection 2 of the Code of Criminal Procedure, the state government had challenged the findings and reasonings given by the Sessions Court by contending that they suffer from illegality, lack of sensitivity, sobriety and perversity. It had also been contended in the appeal that the Sessions Court order granting bail is against the facts and circumstances of the case thus amounting to an infringement of the personal liberty of the survivor and violation of the right to life guaranteed under Article 21 of the Constitution of India. Referring to the photographs of the woman attached with the bail application, the Sessions Court Judge S. Krishna Kumar had noted in the order and I quote, the photographs produced along with the bail application by the accused would reveal that the de facto complainant herself is exposing to dresses which are having some sexually provocative one. So Section 354A will not prima facie stand against the accused. The Sessions Court judge had also expressed disbelief that the 74-year-old author who was physically disabled could have made the complainant sit on his lap and fondle her breasts. The prosecution case was that while the complainant was attending a camp conveyed by Chandran at Nandi Beach in February 2020, he had caught her hand and had forcefully taken her to an isolated place and had sexually assaulted her. Chandran was thereafter booked under Section 354A subsection 2 of the IPC which is sexual harassment, Section 341 which is wrongful restraint and Section 354 which is assault or criminal force to woman with intent to outrage her modesty. The counsel appearing for Chandran had contended that it is a false case cooked up by some of his enemies to ruin his reputation and also pointed out that there was a five-month delay lodging the complaint. Some photographs that the complainant had put up on her social media accounts were also produced to show that she wears what was contended by the council to be sexually provocative clothes. It was also alleged that the complainant was with her boyfriend at the camp and that many persons were present at the time the incident allegedly occurred. On the other hand, the public prosecutor had opposed the bail application by contending that Chandran is in the habit of molesting women and that this is the second sexual harassment case registered against him. The Sessions Court, however, had allowed Chandran's plea and had granted him anticipatory bail. It may also be noted that Sessions Court Judge S. Krishna Kumar, who was posted as the additional district and Sessions Judge of Kozi Court, has been transferred as the presiding officer of Labour Court in Kolam District. 
Notice to this effect was published on the website of the Kerala High Court. As per the notice published, the transfer is part of the routine transfer and posting of judicial officers and three other judges have also been transferred. Thank you. Keep watching Live Law for more such updates. If you like our content, please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.